Researchers in Calgary are hoping a new study will help them predict which first-time mums are at risk for developing preeclampsia early in their pregnancies. Preeclampsia, or high blood pressure in pregnancy, can be fatal for mothers and their developing babies if it goes untreated. Preeclampsia is one of the high blood pressure related disorders of pregnancy and it's a very common disease here in Alberta. Somewhere between 5 and 7 percent of all pregnancy will have a high blood pressure related disorder uh, and that's the same across Canada as well. So the reason why it's important is not only are mums sick from the high blood pressure conditions but it can also affect the outcome of the baby and the pregnancy itself, lead to premature deliveries, um, stillbirth and other fetal complications and maternal complications. Now, researchers with Alberta Health Services and the University of Calgary are testing a new prediction algorithm that takes into account a combination of personal history, body mass index, blood pressure, ultrasound findings, and indicators of placental function in order to determine preeclampsia risk. The study we're looking at is to see, it's called the prediction study, and it's looking to see if we can actually predict which women in Canada and in Alberta are at higher risk of developing preeclampsia. If we can, because if we can predict that and identify who's at risk, we're able to institute some treatments to prevent these women from developing preeclampsia. Micheline Fulop appeared to be having a normal pregnancy with her first child, right up until the night she went to the Foothills Medical Center emergency department with stomach pains. There, doctors determined she had a form of preeclampsia. I went in with what I thought were gas pains, severe gas pains. Um, after midnight, I, I couldn't sleep and I was afraid to take anything. So I thought, well, I'll go into the hospital and just make sure that I can take a, a Tylenol or whatever, just to be on the safe side. And um, they determined that they, I needed to stay. I was oblivious of my condition when I went at, at, uh, at emergency with my daughter and I thought uh, if there's anything that can come from from what happened to us is to help other people I certainly wouldn't would be happy to be a part of that. The prediction study will take first-time moms and uh, apply a screening um, set a screening test to see if we can figure out who's at risk. Another thing that we're doing here in Calgary that's unique in terms of this study is we're actually able to look at mom's vascular function. What that means is looking at mom's blood vessels uh, that aren't related to the placenta but just by looking at her fingertip or her arm to see if we can better predict who's going to develop preeclampsia using that as well. We've been looking for many years ways to potentially predict and prevent preeclampsia and now we've think there is a test or there has been a test has been developed in the UK which has seems to have very high accuracy in predicting who is going to develop the most severe early onset form of preeclampsia and simultaneously it's been shown that if you give low dose aspirin early in pregnancy you can potentially prevent this most serious form of preeclampsia so we're very excited to first of all validate that this prediction test works in the Canadian population um, and then the next step, once we are able to prove that it actually is predictive, hopefully, we'll then move on to um, offering women potential treatment to prevent um, this disorder from occurring.